What's up guys? I'm Taylor Salanoa. And I'm Shane Holly, and we're with Prodigy Disc. And this is The, the Angle. Angle. <laughs> <laughs> Hello mate, I play disc golf with Shot Shots. On this segment of the angle, I'm gonna talk about Upshan. <laughs> Upshan. <laughs> <laughs> On this segment of the angle, I'm gonna be talking about upshots and the stances I use for upshots and why I use those stances and why they help me. Of course, I'm gonna be using the Prodigy PA3. All right, so for upshots that are just outside of my jump putt range, they're in that kind of awkward range where I don't want to throw it too far and I can't jump putt and get it there. I do a stagger stance, which means really I'm not going to use my legs at all for this uh, up shot. I'm going to find my target and I'm just going to rotate my hips and use my arm a little bit. I find that when I have this back foot staggered, it, for me, it gives me a little bit more touch on my disc. That was sick. So this stance, it gives me a little more strength and I get to use my back leg. That way I can get a little more power into my up shot. Alright, the last thing I have isn't necessarily a stance change, but something, just a quick tip that helps you stay in rhythm. For me, when I play basketball, I'm a better shooter when I'm in rhythm. And for some people, disc golf is the same thing. So you square up and just take a small step with your right, or even just lift your right foot a little bit, helps some people keep in that rhythm, and it's more fluent for them. Dang it! All right, so wrapping up, you have the stagger stance, feet uh, spread apart, staggered, not really using your legs at all, more for touch shots, just a small rotation of your hips. You have your stance where you're squared up, where you want to get a little more power, use your back leg. And then the last one was a tip, just to lift your foot, just to kind of stay in a rhythm. Uh, it's For some people, it's a little more fluent. Thanks for watching this segment of The Angle. Yeah.